Hey guys, welcome to the homestead. So this is going to be a little bit of a different video. I had a question this past week. Actually, I get this question quite a bit because people know that I use snake shot here on the homestead and they ask me how effective is that snake shot? Well, today we're going to find out. Now it's fall, the temperatures are colder, so it's gonna be kinda of hard to round up a bunch of snakes and show you on camera the effectiveness of this ammunition. Um, so instead, we're gonna try out something different. Veggies and fruit. So I have some, I have a green pepper here, I have an apple here, and we're gonna go ahead and show you the damaging effect working up from softer targets to harder targets uh, with a very special ending, and uh, we'll see how effective this ammunition is. Now in many states, it's illegal to shoot snakes, so I never show that on camera. However, I truly believe that rattlesnakes and copperheads are very dangerous, venomous snakes like that are very dangerous to children, and we do have these often appear around the housing area uh, during the summer months, and I have small children that are around the housing area, and so when we find these snakes, we do eliminate them. Other snakes I don't care about, unless they get into my chicken coop. If they get into the chicken coop, then we go ahead and eliminate them as well. But we have yet to have a snake get into our chicken coop. You can find our videos on how to build a very effective chicken coop. I'll put a link in the description below or up top. So I hope you can see that inside there. Lots and lots of lead pellets. That is the shot shell. So what we have here is nine millimeter shot shells and 22 shot shells. We have a Walther P22 for the 22 and a Glock nine millimeter, Glock 17. And then for the veggies, we're gonna start off with a green pepper, working our way up. I think a, you know an ear of corn is probably a little bit harder texture than a green pepper, so we're gonna go with an ear of corn. And then we're gonna move up to the apple and see the damaging effect of both of these rounds on an apple. And then we have a spaghetti squash spaghetti squash. And then for our finale, I'll keep that a surprise until the end. Now some people are going to say, Zach, my goodness, why would you shoot food? Don't you know there are hungry people who could be eating that food? Well, I would never shoot any of the food I grow on my own homestead. It's nutritionally dense and we work really hard at making very nutritious food for my family. This, however, is, you know, China Mart crap. So we're going to go ahead and shoot these. And plus, it makes good views. All right, starting off, first things first, it's the green pepper. Let's get started. Now I'm gonna get about as far away as I would with a venomous snake with a pistol to the green pepper and all the other targets. So that'll hopefully show you the damaging effect uh, of these shot shells. So there is the impact. You can see the powder burns on the front of the pepper. And there is an exit wound. There it is. Exit wound, entry, exit. Let's try the nine millimeter. <laughs> uh, I, I'm sorry, but there's just nothing left for me to show you on camera. Okay, let's take it up a notch. Let's try the corn. Oh, I actually thought that would do more damage. This is the 22, and there's just some powder burns and a lot of shot shell, shot shell holes that are inside the corn. No exit, just an entry. Okay, so let's try the 9mm. Whoa, it looks like someone got hungry. Definitely a lot more damage with the 9mm. All right, another notch we go. Okay, starting off with the 22 on the apple. And don't worry, folks, it's a non-organic apple. Again, major powder burns. Major powder burns and a good chunk of the apple is gone. What do you think is going to happen with a 9mm? Let's find out. Okay, another non-organic apple, 9mm. Let's see what happens. Yeah, <laughs> we're just not going to be able to show you that one either. The spaghetti squash. Okay, definite powder burns, definite penetration, but I'm thinking the nine millimeter is gonna be a lot more, let's just say, destructive. Okay, you're grown in Brazil. Spaghetti squash versus nine millimeter. Let's take a look. <laughs> yeah, that's a bad day for the spaghetti squash. Okay, so now for the grand finale. We've seen the difference between nine millimeter and 22. Definitely the nine millimeter has more punch. I mean, when I have killed snakes before on the property, rattlesnakes and copperheads, the nine millimeter completely removes the head. So you have a hard time even finding it again, as seen demonstrated by these fruits and, and vegetables. So now we're gonna take it up another notch. We're gonna try something a little bit harder and see what the impact is. We're gonna try a coconut. Put the lime in the coconut, you drink a bowl. That seems pretty hard. 
I don't think the 22 is gonna go through this. We're gonna have to see and find out. Oh, no penetration whatsoever. There's a few scratches on there. That's about it. No penetration whatsoever. Now, just to be honest, I'm a little bit worried about the shot coming back and hitting me in the face. So I'm gonna kind of shield my face as I do this. But um, I'm thinking the nine millimeter is gonna crack this coconut. We'll see what happens. Yes, the nine millimeter crushed it. Definite hole it entered the cavity of the coconut. Major powder burns over the whole coconut. And I mean, just went through that like no problem at all. This is the back. Of, ooh, look at all the water coming out. <laughs> Good gravy. Yeah, the vegetarians are crying. Anyway, but yeah, totally. This is the back where I did the 22. This is the front where I did the nine, the nine millimeter. Amazing. So what's the moral of the story here? Well, if you were a snake, you'd want someone shooting at you with a 22 shot shell and hopefully be behind a coconut. <laughs> but if the guy's got a nine millimeter shot shell, well, it's still not gonna penetrate the coconut, but it may destroy the coconut you're hiding behind. All right, guys, hope you had fun with that video. We'll see you next time on an American Homestead.